You know, at first, see, you know, when you adopted, man, like, you ain't got no help. Ain't nobody on your side, especially if a motherfucker got money. And see, that, that was my situation. Like, you know, in the adopted family I was in, my adopted parents had the money. Well, my adopted dad had all the money. So, you know, um, <clears throat> what he said was law, even if the shit was a fucking lie. Which 90% of the shit, especially pertaining to me, was a lie. Um, you know, he used to tell people like, yeah, Juwan's had bad grades in high school and all this shit. But I ain't gonna get my report card right now. I got that bitch in the van. I saved it because of that nigga. Tell so many motherfucking lies. Matter of fact, if you go to report card, space one, King Wanza, you can see it. Um, it's just so many lies, bro. The nigga, I mean, I done done so much great shit. And the nigga, that ain't nothing. Anybody can do that. I remember I dropped my first movie. He said, hey, anybody can drop a movie. Nobody in that family has a movie. Nobody. I got seven up. I got 20,000 YouTube videos. I got 15 Facebook pages. I hand me clothes for humans, pets, and sick kids. I got a non-profit org. I'm big as a bitch in Verona. Everybody's starting to notice the motherfucking truth, bro. The motherfucking truth. You know, I remember when um I dropped my first movie in 08. Uh, yes, we can recover. I just came off a heroin addiction. Uh, 20 years. Quit that shit, dropped the movie. Anybody can drop a movie. There ain't nothing. You trying to take the easy way out. I, I invented my first product at the age of eight. I invented uh, dog weights. And um, <clears throat> I submitted the submission to a, a, a submission company. And they said, okay, well, we can get a patent for 2500 So I went to him and said, well, you know, Dad, I invented this product. You know, the people say we can get a patent and we're going to be rich. Oh, oh, you won't take the easy way out. Oh, no, you ain't going to take no easy way out. You're going to suffer. You're going to suffer like I did. You you think you're smarter than everybody else. This this is the logic uh, growing up in that family. Like, bro, what the fuck I do? You need to start thinking. You think too big. You, know, uh, uh, you live in that dream world. So, I ain't never understanding. Like, bro, I ain't asked for this shit. God gave it to me. God ain't give you nothing. God ain't give you nothing. You ain't got no gifts. Bro, I ain't go to school for this shit. I don't want to hear it. Get on my face with that shit. So I'd be like, man, what? can you tell me where my real mama at? Huh. And whoop my ass. You ain't never going to learn. You ain't going to learn shit about her. Only thing you going to do is learn what we tell you to do. Or you ain't going to never have shit. They didn't capitalize on my strengths. They down me on my weaknesses to this day, to this very day. And, you know, the shit, whole shit happened with my daughter. You know, I mean, every time I do something great, there's anything I've done. Here's the irony in, in, in that shit that, that I'm going through. Bro, I just took three million pictures in, in, in 10 years. So they used to always be like, oh, I don't know why you got that dumbass camera out. You ain't going to make it nowhere. Don't nobody going to watch your pictures. Ain't nobody going to watch that YouTube shit. Facebook the devil. All of them got Facebook pages. Now, since they told me the, the day that they've been watching my YouTube page, now you watching YouTube. It's funny. All the shit you said that won't happen, and now it's happening. Um, you know, my daughter. Uh, and that's why they treat my daughter like that, put me against her. And, you know, I don't even get her involved or really talk to her. But, bro, when she was genetic uh, profile, could have saved her from having spine surgery. And they knew it. You can ask her mama. You can ask any woman. That is, you can ask anybody. That, you can go on this page and put. He's talking about, well, you just asked for your mama information and we gave it to you. It's a motherfucking lie. Bro, you go on this page and put in adoption space, my login, one king one. You'll see videos from eight years ago where I'm like, man, why the fuck won't these people tell me who my mama is? But see, when a nigga... When a nigga got money and he control small-minded people that can't go nowhere, like all them cars, they in his name. So everybody in that family going to listen to him. And then ain't none of them motherfuckers adopted. So their mamas is their real mamas. And they don't understand, like, well, how can't you look at her as your real mom? Because she don't look at me as her my her my her real son. Like, if I call her now, my phone blocked on her phone. Fuck is she my real mama and she got a phone blocked. What if I really need her? Can't get her. I mean, like... They do the shit and get mad if I speak on the shit. That's like the rapist telling the rape victim, the fuck is you telling people for? Okay, I raped you and what? 
Bro, you know how many fucking times I done worked for free in that motherfucking family? I took care of Emma for 10 years. 10 motherfucking years. Emma had a nigga. Her, my mama says she had a nigga live in her basement for five years that nobody knew about. Because that's how much the, the family went over there and checked on her. They didn't even fucking know her. I found the nigga and kicked the motherfucking nigga out. They used to call me her janitor. Look on this video. Go to Emma, Aunt Emma, space, the, my login, One King Ones. You'll see me. I'm with her everywhere. Kroger's, this, that, everywhere. Doctors, all that. Well, none of them motherfuckers there. Then when Emma gets sick, I was the only person that had a key to Emma's house for 10 years. Emma gets sick. My mama get the key. And shit changed. Now, my mama used to pick her up on Sundays. I'm not going to lie. She did. She would bring her to the little family gatherings. Or take her out to eat, take her to church. That's a fact. But who was there Monday through motherfucking Saturday when I kept telling y'all, look, Emma sick, she fucked up. Keith, her, my mother's nephew, beat his own aunt out of two houses. Bought $109,000, got her to sign the paper, bought a hundred and nine because he had a, a mortgage company. Got, a, got her to sign the deed on one house, got $109,000 on that house. Got a hundred thousand dollars on another house. Now, mind you, this woman had been given those two houses. She had never paid rent or mortgage in her life. That nigga bought two hundred thousand dollars on a hundred nine thousand on one house, hundred thousand on the other house. The hundred and nine thousand he bought on her house, he made her pay nine hundred dollars rent to live in her own motherfucking house that she had already somebody gave her. Ain't nobody say shit about that. The other house, she had a girlfriend living in. Girlfriend won't pay rent. Yes, she was struggling. Keith kicked that bitch out and rented the house out and lost it. They ain't say nothing. I cut a tree down for Keith. Nigga ain't pay me. They gonna tell me stop worrying him. I work for the money. And as I was throwing the 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 the, the uh the trunk of the tree, I pulled a muscle on my back. I had to go to the hospital, fifteen hundred dollar bill. I was like Keith. You need to pay my money. Fuck the bill. I, I take care of that. They told me stop worrying him. Get a real job. That is a fucking... Cutting a tree is a real fucking job, in case you don't even know it. Like that. Then when my Aunt Emma gets sick, my mama become power of attorney. She look in her account. I had never wrote none of the checks. When Emma... I told him Emma was sick. I was like, look, Emma came right. She's shaking. She falling out. She's sick, man. Y'all need to help her. Oh, here go my dad. Huh. Ain't no room with Emma. He just wants some attention. Ain't no wrong. My mom, ain't no wrong. I was just over there. I'm like, man, the lady's sick, man, for real. When shit fall down, because I'm telling them, look, Emma can't even write her checks. You know what I'm saying? Roll writing the checks for us. And when you see it, you're going to be like, why is it stolen shit? But Emma got raccoons in the house, possums in the house. Emma was a pack rat. My mama a pack rat. Emma was just worse. Emma had papers in the house. Emma was, but this shit was in 2000. I mean, 2000. 10 or some shit. Emma had newspaper in the house from the 19 motherfucking 40s. I know. I got them on myself. Emma had rats. And they was like, which ones? You threw away all our family pictures. Them pictures had uh, roach nests on it. Bro, this shit had been in the house for 50 motherfucking years. And Emma ain't clean shit. Well, we don't believe it had. How, how, we don't believe it had no roach eggs and no dust on it. Them pictures was good. You just threw them away. Why you dust your shit? If you don't dust your shit, how long it take for your shit to get dusted? If you don't spray for bugs, how, many, how long it take for your fucking house to get infested with bugs? See, these people live in a world that ain't real. And all they do is hate on me, bro. Yeah, that, that's, that type of shit. That's the type of shit I went through. My mom would go out of town. And I got a video on this page. My mom would go out of town to Ocean City, Maryland. And buy that cotton, I mean, that uh, caramel popcorn shit. That they like. She ain't know I ain't eat candy. And uh, when she bring it back, she bring back three of them. Now, mind you, it's four of us in the family. She's like, yeah, I got the family uh, some some popcorn shit. All right? Now, this is the logic deal. And I go in there and look. It's three cans in there, but it's four of us. Me, my mom, my dad, and my sister. I said, well, I ain't but three of them in here. Oh, yeah, we forgot you, but you can have some I have. Here's the catch to that. Now, if I take that shit and I eat that shit, they're going to be like, why the fuck you eat my shit? Why you ain't get your own? You feel me? But you ain't get me one. You ain't give me the same chance that everybody else got. They told me, bro, the first time I sniffed heroin in my life was July 4th, 1991, when I graduated from high school. Because I had found out I was adopted at the age of five. Um, we was in the house playing. 
my sister, adopted sister, and her friends over there, and me and my niggas right here. So her her girlfriend said, Insure it. Oh, that's her name. She very nasty. Her friend said, Insure it. Um, get us something to drink. She said, Get it yourself. That's the same thing they tell me about my mom. Get it yourself. So, you know, when you're the youngest sibling, you're, you're a slave. They said, well, well, tell your brother to get it for me. I'm fine. She looked at me and said, that nigga ain't my brother. That nigga adopted. Only reason he here, because his mom ain't want him. So I ran downstairs and asked my dad, that's the man my adopted. Yeah, don't you ever ask me about that shit again? And all this, and whooped my ass. And from that day on, I wanted to know who the fuck my mama was. Bro, they didn't give me the paperwork till three years ago. Four years ago. He said, we gave you the paperwork when you asked. It's a lie. Go to this page and put in adoption, one king one. You'll see video from me from eight years ago saying, why won't these people tell me who the fuck my mama is? Why you ain't just leave? Find your mama yourself? Fuck you can find a seal adoption. Everything is negative and hatred in that family, bro. And my prayer is that God shows up, man. Everybody want to know why they going through all that shit they going through. Bro, look how fucking nasty you is, bro. You, you, okay, you might have tricked money, man. But when money come to understand this, all that shit she went through could have been prevented if you would have just gave us that paperwork and we could have did a genetic... My mother might have died of spine uh, uh, disease. You never fucking know. You ain't want you told me you you told y'all told me you'll never you'll never know your mama. Never. I asked mama one day we was at the doctor and she told the doctor why well, we ain't got this paperwork. I said, man, you you will allow my daughter to die and not to tell me who I am. And she said, Yes. This lady's a Christian, man. Go to church. She probably there now. I was just down in her car one day. She probably at church now. And they get mad at me for saying this shit. They don't get mad at themselves for doing this shit. Bro, I ain't asked to be in that family. Been asking to get out. But this is how I started sniffing dope. They told me, hi, right, well, since you, I kept worrying and worrying. They, my dad used to always whoop my ass. I, I kept worrying him, like, man, I won't find out who my mom is. So when I turned, he said, we'll tell you when you get 18. That was the shit back then. Tell the motherfucker. We'll tell you, you the only, he's always, you the only motherfucker in the earth want to know who your mama is. Ain't nobody asking. And when you're in a family where everybody, ain't nobody else adopted, that make you, Think that you might be the only motherfucker on earth. But when, you know, Ancestry.com and all that shit came up, man, there's billions of people who want to know who the fuck they is. Nigga, I ain't wrong for that shit. You know who you is. You know who your mama, your aunt, your sisters, and your cousins is. That's why you got support. But I'm a, I'm in a family where they don't believe in hand-making clothes. They don't believe in building brands. They don't believe in love and, and telling people you love them and hugging them and showing love. They believe in just nasty shit. Straight up, we ain't gonna get that nigga shit. I used to ask him, look, uh, can you help me find my mom? Find it yourself. Give me paperwork, to my, and then or tell me the adoption agents to close. That bitch ain't never closed. Virginia Home Society. You can Google it. Call them right now. Virginia Home Society. That that joint open. See when the nigga got that money, the lie become a truth. But I'm gonna tell you something. A lie got motherfucking wings, and the truth got feet. And none of that shit catching up. They like, man, won't you stop telling? Man, this shit the truth, bro. I started sniffing dope. The day I turned 18, I just graduated from Verona High School. I turned 18 that July. I asked them, I was like, y'all give me the paperwork. They told me they lost it. That was the first time I tried heroin, bro. I'm like, it ain't my fault. You tried drugs and bro, all that great shit. I did. That nigga ain't never said, you know what? You did a good job. Everything was, yeah, oh, it's all right. Uh, I just ain't better. Uh, uh. How you going to motivate somebody being negative? How you gonna make a positive person by being negative? But see, that's what these people think. It's all about what they think. Well, we don't want you doing that. My mom, my mom just told me last week, you need to give up on your dreams and do this. For you? For you. A person who won't even answer my phone. My phone won't even ring when I call you. Give up my dreams for you. And then what? I can't get $50 from you if I need it. If I'm in a diet situation. Knowing you got, y'all got thousands of dollars, I can't get $3,000 to get a driver's license? And you give a motherfuckers $4,000 to blow just to go on a trip? You want me to give up my gifts for you? To make you happy? When you ain't never, ever searched for my happiness. Everything you did, you did because you wanted to do. You never say, you know what? If he wants to meet his mama, why not? I know how I feel about my daughter. I know how I feel about my grandkids. I love when I see them. Why can't he have it? 
Instead, you chose, man, we want to see that nigga suffer. We want to see him live in his car. We want to see that nigga broke. We want to see that nigga starving just because he think different. Even though he ain't from us, we didn't have him. He's not like the rest of the family that we had. We had them. Right? We can, our genetic design says that they're going to be like us. He's not even from here. We don't even know his mama. But you know what? That motherfucker don't think like us and, and, and motherfucking talk like us and, and, and do everything like we do. Fuck him. We ain't going to support him. Even, I'm, I'm telling him, like, look, I want to go to the doctor and find out. My mom died at 62. I want to find out her records and shit and find out why she died to prevent the maintenance. You know what I'm saying? Like, the shit is genetic. You don't need to know. You're going to be all right and all this shit. Bro, the mere reason he's alive today is because he knew that his mama was a diabetic. The the only reason my adopted mama alive today because she knew her mama had breast cancer. The only reason my adopted sister is alive because she knew our mama had breast cancer. So they knew preventative maintenance. I don't, I don't got no chance for none of that. I don't deserve. I don't even deserve no who my mama is, nor my health records. That's what they saying. If you if you think God ain't gonna show up, boy. You a fool. God don't like shit like that. I don't know what God like, but ain't no way in the world a good, loving God like shit like that. Ain't no way. Nigga, uh, uh, if you think so, put yourself in my position. Nigga, if you was me, would you be happy with a motherfucker treating you like that? Huh? Would you be happy with a motherfucker coming to school, fighting you and shit? That's how dad I had. If you act up in school, I'm gonna come beat you in school. Bro, you come degrade a nigga. How, how, how much self-esteem you think the nigga gonna have? You holler at a nigga all the time. You you have a nigga rob, bro. You tell a nigga his dreams ain't shit. You don't never believe in him. You ain't gonna never support him. How big do you expect a nigga to get? Fuck, you gonna raise somebody up by putting them down. That's all right. Y'all gonna be nasty all y'all want. I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't gonna say I ain't mad, but I understand. Because your man's so fucking small. That's all right. You can do whatever you want to do with my daughter. That little money. All them, whoever telling you about what I'm doing on the internet is hating. They probably jockeying for a position to get some money. Because I've been doing this shit for 10 years, nigga. Yeah. That's cool. And I ain't hating on you. I'm being real. That's all you ever been was fucking nasty to me, nigga. And like I told you, the other day, when all them trees and shit fell, who you think came and picked all them goddamn, well, I ain't seen no tree branches outside. Nigga, winds was 80 miles an hour. That shit blew over motherfucking signs and shit. The motherfucking uh, uh, Dale City sign. What that shit is in Dale City? The uh, shopping center. Whatever the fuck it is. They blew that shit sign. The, the sign um, on Melothian, Dollar General sign, blew that sign. What the fuck you think it'll do to the tree? It was tree limbs everywhere out that bitch. It took me three hours to pick that shit up. Ain't nobody say thank you in the trash can in the middle of the fucking... A backyard and them chairs and shit off the off the porch, in the middle of the backyard. I know you've seen that shit before you left. You didn't say thank you. Y'all ain't never told me thank you or appreciate it or you did a good job. Now, why you keep asking us for money? That's cool. Instead of you letting me cut the grass, you rather pay a fucking stranger, nigga. You brought my enemy into the house and let that nigga do work while the police kick me out. Why the fuck I don't, man, nigga? Your day coming. Y'all day coming. Bro, all I brought was love. I, I brought love. Don't nobody in that family say shit about love. I ain't never seen you kiss mama. Ever in life. I just seen her kiss you on your forehead, nigga, when you was in the hospital. But other than that, I ain't never seen you kiss her. I ain't never seen you tell her she was beautiful or none of that shit. Everything you give is negative. You might got a little money, motherfucker. But you best believe this. Nigga, you don't control life. And God coming, nigga. And so am I. That's some clown ass shit you done did to me, bro. And you ain't never said you fucking saw it. Like, everything you did was always fucking right. Nigga, the only thing I ever wanted to know was the name of my motherfucking mama, nigga. I had to find out the fucking hard way. And if you want to be real, you know who told me the name of my mama? Money told me. Because I, I can show you in the paperwork. If you look at the pictures they sent me, they cross her name out. And Money looked at that shit and found it on the internet. But you know what? I ain't even going to curse you out or nothing. God got you. And God got me. I know I got gifts. Ain't nobody in that family do what the fuck I do. You might not support it. You ain't got to because you ain't the only nigga on earth. And I ain't going to disrespect you or nothing. I appreciate you for 
feed me, raise me, and all that, but I don't appreciate you for disrespecting me, degrading me, and telling me I ain't shit and hating on me and, and never allowing me to, the opportunity to have what you have, nigga. If I had a supportive family, imagine where I'd be at. Look at all this shit I got going on, nigga, and I had you, a non-supportive motherfucking nigga, a nigga that had his own son robbed, nigga, to my, they ain't robbed you. If a motherfucker pull a gun on you, nigga, and take your shit, man, you don't know, man, me on some valid shit, nigga, it's a robbery, nigga. Yeah, call the police and ask them. Lying ass nigga, man, you you just, you ain't got no good in you because you can't accept the fact and say, you know what, I was wrong. You always fucking right. It's because you got a little bit of money and you deal with people who ain't got shit. But your motherfucking day is coming, bro. I don't give a fuck. You don't never leave me shit. Y'all don't treat me like shit anyway. And I did everything in for running. Only reason that house still there, nigga, because I, I tell motherfucker know my name attached to it. But it's all good. You can hate on me and call me the enemy all you want. That's all you'll do in front of your people. But everybody's starting to learn the motherfucking truth. And the difference between what me and you or anybody else say, me, you, or mama say, I got motherfucking proof. And that's why I saved these motherfucking videos. Because I knew I could never have no weight against you and that family. You got them, he lying. And, uh, okay. I got visual proof, nigga. And I got shit with dates on them. So you like you was telling everybody, he down here just getting gangster with us and, and no nigga, I wanna know who my fucking mama was, nigga. You loved your fucking mama, didn't it? Fuck wrong with you. You wanna own a nigga. Your day is coming. Sooner than you think. Watching I already know how y'all gonna do me. I did everything everybody in Verona know me from that house. I'm the only nigga been on the roof in that motherfucker. You ain't never got on the roof in that motherfucking house. You scared of heights. Mama ain't never got on the roof. Who you think cleaned the gutters all them years? Me. Who you think picked, all, picked up all them sticks and cut all the grass? That's cool. I've been working for free all my fucking life. But one thing about it, you ain't got to give me shit. If you do, you do. If not, God going to openly reward me right in front of your motherfucking face.